Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here and yay! Are you seeing a theme here? Usually when she's with me, we're going to eat. <laughs> I'm getting, getting her out a lot more lately. Of course, we don't know where we're going. I just know I don't feel like getting a rubbery bacon sandwich that is unenjoyable but overpriced. So we're going to go somewhere else for breakfast and now we're going to hash that out. <laughs> hash. So where do you want to go? Tommy? I don't know. First thing I thought of. I saw that it was open. I guess we can try it. I mean, at this point, it's so much later in the day now. Yeah. That it might just be super jam packed. Well, kids, I guess we're going to try to go to Commune. We haven't been there in a while. But it's always delicious. So, I know you want a weather report. It's already 63 degrees out. It's very warm, but warm and humid because it's been pissing rain. That being said, that means that I don't think the monkey's going into the woods today to take pictures because it's supposed to be rainy. Yeah. So I don't know what's in store for today, but we'll figure something out. Let's go eat. Okay, so I know it's been said before that she's not loud enough. And that's because I usually have the, uh, the you know, the transmitter on, on me, like right there. So short of bringing the second transmitter and, and mic and her up, we thought that we would just use that pole for <laughs> something other than it being a pole. So now you should be able to hear her better. Unfortunately for you. Eh. So say something interesting. Something interesting. <laughs> oh, you're funny. You're in a barrel of monkeys. What are you looking at? I'm just trying to figure out what that guy's license plate said. G07D3NZ. So clearly they're using digits as letters. Dens? Goldens? Goldens? Maybe goldens. Got dens? <laughs> yeah, that seven's really throwing it off. Right. And then I'm trying to read it and drive and not like rear end him. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's not do that. I'm going with Goldens then. Yeah, it's the closest thing to an actual word, but he also kind of drives like a dick. Yeah, but... yeah, that's dickish. <laughs> <laughs> no coffee, no food. You're going to get dumb shit like that. Then again, even when I do have coffee and food, I was you gonna say, dumb that shit. doesn't change much. <laughs> You love me. You're stuck with me. Oh my god. So it's G07D3NZ. So you guys tell me what you think that that, that says. Leave a comment down below. <laughs> Can't really think of it. It, it. Nothing's coming to me because now all I see is Goldens. Maybe it's somebody named Golden as the last name. The Golden's car. Well, it is a Z. It is a Z3, so Golden Z. Golden Z? Yeah, could be that. Got Den Z. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if you can actually see it or not, but that's what we're going with. I do have my hat. It's in the back, though, but I can't wear it because it pushes against the backrest and it drives me crazy. As you saw from the magic of editing yesterday where I had it on and then I didn't. That's why. Okay, this is boring. We're gonna go eat now and stop trying to formulate sentences without coughing and food. Okay, so I stopped recording because we were being boring and then immediately hilarity ensued. But we were uh, like in, in the second lane over and the third lane's a left turn only. Whoops. And the uh, the dicky driver with the golden, you know, license plate, whatever, was honking at the person in front of them because they didn't turn on the light. So they went through, and everybody went through the light, and then it turned red. And then, like two or three seconds after that, this big truck just like rolled through the rolled through. Like it, it wasn't even like, oh, it's a yellow light. I mean, it was red for like a couple of seconds, and they totally went through the light. And at the same time, we both went. That, that was, was just blatant. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like she said, we spend too much time together. Can you tell we spend too much time together? 
Like, oh, Jesus. We speak in cartoon <laughs> references. It, like, if, if you weren't one or the other, you wouldn't know what the hell we're talking about, because all we do uh, is talk in cartoon speak, so hold on to your ass, Fred. Holding on. Ugh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Nothing else funny should happen. I'm standing in a puddle. I had her get out so that she didn't have to walk through the puddle. Ain't she pretty? All right, kids, that was a whirlwind uh, fun time with my queen. We went to breakfast, which was delicious. And then we went to one of the Goodwills and the bookstore that's right there. And had a good time there. She got some stuff, which she's at home taking pictures of now. And then we went to three ships a little early just because we were already out and about. Now, it is one of those days that it's shitty out. It's been like it rained hard this morning. It actually woke me up. It was raining so hard. And it's kind of been overcast. And the sun, there's a couple of spots where the sun's trying to burn its way through, but it's just not working. And you know, like when we left three ships, it started to sprinkle. Now, what have I always said? I don't mind if it's raining. I just don't like thunder and lightning. If it's any kind of thunder and lightning, I'm not going into the woods. There's no thunder and lightning. There's just rain and not that much rain. And I'll be in the woods. So it's too early for me to be sitting inside all day. I just don't have it in me and I need to walk. I have done a lot of damage to myself in the past two weeks. And I kept saying it's my last hurrah. And I keep telling you guys that it's my last hurrah of, of just eating crap through the holidays and everything. And it all starts back during Thanksgiving and then going through my birthday and then going through Christmas and New Year. Like today literally is the last day for my debauchery. I I'm just gonna run with it. You know, last night we had burgers and fries. Who knows what we're gonna have tonight, but it's Sven Gulli night, so anything could happen. I'm gonna go walk some of this off at Pleasure House Point. And since it's raining, it's gonna be squishy and I got that itch, man. I got to get out there and I got to take some pictures. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to go to Pleasure House Point and then we'll stop at the UPS store on the way back because deliveries are all messed up and I got shit. I'm not supposed to get it until next week. And there was stuff that I was supposed to get on Saturday. I don't know if I got it yesterday. Like it's just confusing. So we're going to go check that out. Let's go take some pics. Whew, all right. So it is 66 degrees out. If the sun were out, it would be scorching. I'm still going to take it, though. It didn't rain the entire time I was out. But again, it's still really, really overcast. And fortunately, despite all the rain, it must be really low tide because the water levels are really, really low back there. So I didn't get too squishy. Just a couple of sections that, that were pretty muddy. And yeah, I can see I've got mud all over the bottom of my pants, but boo-hoo. Okay, so there really wasn't anything out this time. I mean, the last time I went when I was recording you know, filming, you know, I couldn't take five steps without seeing a gigantic bird somewhere. This time, that's not the case. It's all crows. And in the one section, I'm not shitting you, it, there were no less than 30 of them, 30 big crows. I enjoyed every minute of it because they were all playing and chasing each other and jumping on trees and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I did get some pictures of them. We'll see what they look like. It's kind of hard when you've got a black crow against, a, you know, a, like an overcast bright sky. So we'll see what we get, but it doesn't matter. Like I always say, doesn't matter if I get a single picture or not. I just enjoy being back here and walking around. So I got a, whoops, got to end my workout. So yeah, I mean, I, I got a couple miles in and I enjoyed myself and mother nature was, was nice to me and she didn't like beshat down upon me all of the cleansing waters. Okay, kids, it is about 5.30 on Saturday. Uh, had a great morning with my queen morning afternoon and i've been sitting here sort of playing around with both computer set setups trying to figure out what i want to do there is something that has plagued me for the past few weeks and you wouldn't know about it because you didn't get to see that footage but the audio went to complete shit and it was like, <sighs> it was making like this weird ass noise and i was like oh what the hell so a lot of the footage that i had I couldn't use because there's no way that, that anyone's going to want to listen to that, least of all me. So today I noticed that the 
DJI receiver was sitting. So let's say it's like a box like this and it's sitting on like the cold shoe where I have it and that's forward. Well, it was at an angle like that. And I'm like, how in the hell can that be? It's like going through a hot shoe. There's no way to move. Oh, dumb monkey. And then I looked and what had happened is because of that little dongle that, that goes up into the back where all the connections are, it just basically slides up there. So when you think you put it down and you get it to where it's supposed to be, it sits like this. Well, sometimes it can creep up and it was creeped way the hell up. And I was like, oh my God, I wonder if it was like that all day. And I just didn't notice it. So I pulled the card and I went through all my footage today and everything was fine. It was perfect with audio. And I was like, oh, okay. Thanks Zeus. Then I reattached it. Now I'm shooting this outro, but that was something that I haven't paid attention to clearly. Now, I don't know if that's what was happening when I get the bad audio, because to be perfectly honest, it was random and I would shoot all day like I always do. And there's, you know, tons of clips of all the shit that I'm shooting as I'm walking about, driving around and all that kind of stuff. And some of them had the noise, some of them didn't. And it was like some of them had it before, then it didn't have it, then it had it again. So no method to the madness. I can only think because the receiver was actually up and wasn't touching at all the connection points. So it was kind of getting some of it. At least that's what I think. Don't know. But now the dumb monkey saw that I'll be paying attention to it. And then I can sort of troubleshoot by knowing that no, 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 no. I know when I started that I had it pushed down, it was touching on all connection points. Then if it happens again, then I know that that's not the problem. And I'm going to have to figure out what the problem is. We'll see. Okay. So it is New Year's Eve. Saturday, December 31st. Personally, I don't give a shit about New Year's. I'm not like, oh, uh, you know, New Year, I'm going to do new resolutions and all that kind of shit. Now, right now is when I decide to do shit. Sometimes a little too impulsively, but I don't go in for the whole, you know, making a list of resolutions and all that stuff and the New Year and all that kind of shit. I do stuff as I take it on and as it happens and, and whatever, because waiting is death. Because you always think, oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Later's not guaranteed. So I don't do any of that stuff. I also don't drink anymore. Neither does she. And we both despise being around drunk people. They're just annoying as shit. So we don't go anywhere where there are drunk people if we can help it. And we definitely don't go out on New Year's Eve. And we haven't for years because we just don't want to deal with drunk people or checkpoints or idiots that are driving drunk or just idiots that are drunk. Ha. <sighs> so we'll be sitting in this evening. Besides, it's Sven Gooley night. So we'll watch Sven Gooley and show fall asleep instantaneously. And I'll be up for like three hours watching stupid YouTube videos. So uh, I'm not going to wake her up to tell her Happy New Year. I'll tell her in the morning and yippee. So if you're watching this before you go out, don't be a douche. Don't drink and drive. I guarantee you, you have someone to call that will come and pick you up or stay somewhere, but don't drive drunk. It's not cool. No bueno. Okay. No point in me sitting on my soapbox anymore. You're theoretically adults and you should know better. So that's enough of that shit, but it has been a fantastic year for me. I have spent way the hell too much money on gear, which is why I'm not doing that anymore. And I have some fantastic gear. I have fantastic everything. And I am now going to appreciate that I have all that. And, and instead of worrying about new gear acquisitions, I'm going to worry about using the gear that I have. So I plan on doing a lot more this year that isn't necessarily check out what I bought. <laughs> so there you go. All right. That's enough. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.